Hello and welcome to episode 10 of the By the Lakeside podcast. My name is Sandy and this is a podcast about my knitting and sewing adventures which usually take place in my craft room in my home here by the lake. But today I am in another room and I'm going to try this out to see how it goes. It's not going to be a really long podcast today. I don't have a lot of knitting to talk about, but I really wanted to do a podcast because I have a couple of things I wanted to mention and a winner of the Crafty Winter Make Along. So I would like to announce those and to show you quickly what I'm working on and some of my favorite things. So let's get started. If you are looking for me elsewhere, you can find me on Instagram and Ravelry as Sandy Ran. I also make handmade project bags, which you can find in my Etsy shop, which is called Sandy by the Lakeside. And I think that's it. So uh, for knitting, I haven't actually had a great knitting week. I didn't really knit all week. It was just really, really hectic. Um, really late nights, working late. I missed some lunch breaks. So. Not a lot of knitting to talk about, and I think I was in between projects. So um, I was really in a great knitting groove in my last podcast and for a little bit after that. Um, I'm really excited. I, I do have one finished object, which is the seal hat. I really loved this project. I talked about it in my last podcast, and I was able to finish it really quickly. Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful yarn. Um, I've mentioned it before, I'll just mention quickly that this is the Seal Hat by Alex Kin uh, Tinsley and it was a paid for pattern on Ravelry. It's a really simple um, rib, rib hat, but I think it's really cute, uh, really, really cute. None of the boys wanted it, so I'm not sure, um, I might keep it for myself or I might give it to a friend who is totally knit worthy. As a gift so we will see about that the yarn um, is Malabrigo um, and it's called Mechia I think that's right so I did um, update a few of my projects on my project page in Ravelry and if you'd like to see more details you can see them there and check out the pattern it was really simple really quick it was a nice um, sit in front of the TV knit and I loved it um, I loved working with this yarn it's a beautiful rib um, and I guess that's all I can really say about it I really really liked it I hope you're getting a good um, a good idea of what it looks like the lighting in here is a little bit funny but it's really um, it's really gray and a little bit gloomy today it's been snowing on and off just a little bit um, but it's February, so in Canada, that's what happens. Um, the only other knitting project I wanted to talk about today was a new sock. So just to backtrack, the last time I podcasted, I was in complete knitter's bliss with all the right projects. I finished the hat. Um, I had a Christmas Eve sock cast on that I had done, but I wasn't enjoying it. So I decided to push that one aside. And I think I just had too many um, ideas of things I wanted to start. And because I was working so much this week, I just wasn't in the mood to cast on anything. So it kind of got pushed aside. But that changed. I um, received this beautiful, beautiful yarn. It's by Scrumptious Pearl. The colorway is um, Sail Away With Me see here so scrumptious pearl there's the the label this is a Canadian um, dyed yarn yes it's called come sail away and it is on the glam base so it's 84% um, superwash merino and 16% sparkling stellina gold it's really pretty it's 400 yards and um, I love self striping yarn and I think this is just what I needed to get me back on track with an addictive knit. Um, I'm just using a plain vanilla sock, which I'm also loving. And I tried um, I tried casting it on earlier in the week, but I wasn't feeling it. It was on a magic loop or a circular needle. 
And so I just ripped it out this morning or last night and restarted. So I'm using my favorite needles. These are, I believe they're the Knit Pro Zings. And I use um, a 2.25 millimeter, which I think is a US size one. This is my favorite, favorite DPN needle or favorite way to, or needle to use when I'm knitting socks. So I've got that in my beautiful, beautiful patchwork bag from Amber, who is Maker's Haven. And um, she has some of my favorite bags. And I finally found a good use or a, a knit worthy project for it. So I'm really excited about this project. I said I started it this morning and here it is. So it's just little, but it's beautiful. I love the, the peach, the navy. These are all my favorite kind of colors. So I'm loving this. And I've passed the rib and I'm now onto the mindless, the mindless knitting. So I'm really happy that I finally found my groove again. And I think one of the other things is that I keep a basket beside me in the family room where I sit and I've kept all of my favorite projects in it in their bags. So whatever mood I'm in, I can just pick one up. But I think I was starting to put too much in it and there were just too many bags and too many possibilities. And at the end of the night, I just, I couldn't, I didn't want to pick anything up because I felt tired and maybe overwhelmed. So I'm back to kind of cleaning out uh, my basket of projects and putting some of them uh, away temporarily and just focusing on my, I have a shawl on the needles, which I don't have here to show you because I'm, I haven't really made much progress on it since the last time. Um, but I'm working on my shawl and I am happy that I finished my hat and now I've got this really, really great um, sock on the go. So I'm excited. I think I'm going to get back into it this week and get my knit on. So that is my whip for the week that I wanted to show you. Um, I did want to show you one of my um, favorite things because this is a short and sweet episode and I've been using it a lot this week. So I just wanted to kind of show one of my favorite um, knitted items and it's these. These are, um, the pattern is called the Warmest Mittens, and I love it. It's one of the first, I think it's the only, I've done fingerless mitts before, but it's the only pair of mittens that I've done, and I absolutely adore these, the, this yarn. Again, I guess it's the self-striping, um, but also just the beautiful, crazy, wild colors. The yarn is by wolf folk fibers i believe or no sorry 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 it's actually folk tale and i had found them years ago on etsy and i think she's doing different things now because she hasn't had her yarn for sale in a really long time but it's just a hand spun beautiful um beautiful beautiful yarn that i love and i wanted to just show you this is what i have been wearing in this um kind of it hasn't been freezing here but this January and now we're into February. So this is what I have been um, keeping in my bag and popping on whenever I am heading outside because it's really cold. So I love this. It was actually a really easy knit. I did this when I was not very experienced I did this years ago and um, I loved it. It was a, just a really great knit. So a great knit and a great finished project that I wanted to share with you. Um, let's see, what else do I have here? I guess acquisitions I will just do really quickly because um, I haven't really, other than my new yarn for my sock, I haven't really been purchasing anything. I've been trying to shop the stash and be good this new year. Um, but I was very, very lucky and I received a beautiful care package from one of my favorite people online. Um, her name is Joanne. And you can find her as Port Hardy. I think she's Port Hardy 11, but I will double check and I will put her um, Instagram name on the screen for you. You probably know her. She's, um, she seems like such a lovely friend of everyone. So um, she sent me a beautiful package and I just wanted to show this gorgeous card. 
And there were lots of sweet goodies in this really sweet package that came in the perfect week because um, it was really busy and exhausting. And you know when you come home and you just, you don't know how you even got through the day and then you get this really sweet card and package from someone and it's just the nicest thing. And Joanne is the nicest lady. So thank you so much, Joanne. Um, I just wanted to um, mention and show this beautiful, beautiful yarn that I have been eyeing um, coloring book yarns for quite some time. And I have never seen the shop update ever. And I always either miss it or I'm just, I'm not, I'm not on it. So I'm not on the ball with stuff like that. Um, but I have been coveting this yarn for months and I think Joanne picked up on that and she sent me this amazing colorway in Finn and the funny thing about it is um, one of my boys was actually Finn from Adventure Time for Halloween this year so I thought it was the coolest thing he was thrilled I was thrilled and it's just beautiful so I cannot wait I think um, one of the other things I did acquire in the last few weeks which I didn't bring to show um, were a lot more sock needles, um, the Knit Pro Zings, the gold pair that I just showed you, the DPNs, um, because I just want to cast on more socks, and that's my favorite needle. So I did order a couple more, and now I think I'm just going to um, make a little progress on my Scrumptious Pearl socks first, and then I'm gonna, going to um, cast on another set here. So really, really excited. She also sent me this beautiful mini some of my hair there, um, by Skein from Australia, which I've never used before, and it's just beautiful. And lots of other um, treats and goodies and sweet little things in the package that, um, such a treat to get, so lovely. So thank you so much, Joanne. Oh, there was this beautiful button too. Everything else I've sort of got scattered around the house already and uh, is in use. So beautiful, beautiful stuff. Okay, some housekeeping. I think I will move on to um, the Crafty Winter Make Along, which was um, a make along that I did in conjunction with Patty from Four Boys and an NL Girl. I think I always say an NL Girl, but it's Four Boys and a NL Girl. Um, she has a podcast and you can find her on Instagram as well. And we did this fun little. Um, Crafty Winter Make Along, which ended um, either the 31st or the, the 31st of January or the 1st of February. I didn't close it until quite late February 1st or maybe even early on February 2nd. I gave everyone just a little bit of extra time. Um, I haven't been posting much about it, but I have been checking in on everyone's posts that um, you put on our Ravelry pages and all of the beautiful projects. So that was really um, a treat and something I really enjoyed looking at. Um, I didn't look at it every day because um, I don't go into Ravelry as much as I should, but every once in a while I would catch up and look at all of the beautiful projects and photos. So thank you to everyone who, um, who joined along and posted pictures on Instagram and also in the Ravelry group. So I have two prizes that I wanted to announce today to give away for that. Um, the first one would be for the finished object thread. Um, there were 362 entries for that and um, I used the random generator app on my phone and I did it just before this because I felt like I might be fumbling fumbling through with it um, and it chose, actually I didn't write the number down, but the winner of that one um, is Sharon from New Brunswick and her username on Ravelry is S Vance. So thank you so much Sharon. I saw your beautiful post with the opal yarn socks and um, you have won a beautiful project bag from Molly Klein Designs with these sweet owls on it and I'm adding in with that this great um, sock yarn from the Loopy U. It is the Seasonings series in Gothic Sweethearts. So you get a skein of um, this really great pink yarn and then you get an additional mini to do your um, heels, tufts, and coats. 
cuffs and toes. <laughs> um, and I'm glad you're a sock knitter, so this should come in handy. So congratulations, Sharon. That is your prize for the finished object in the finished object thread. So please um, send me a message on Ravelry and uh, include your address, and I will be sure to get that out hopefully this week. Um, yeah, so congratulations. The second uh, prize that I drew a name for was in the chatter thread. So um, there was lots of fun chatter going along in that thread and I chose uh, with the random generator app again, uh, number nine, and that is Knitting I Love, which is Barbara. And it's so funny because I just found out earlier today that I won something on Barbara's Knitting I Love podcast. So it's funny coincidence, but uh, there weren't very many entries in the chatter thread and Barbara had quite a few, so her odds were high to win. So congratulations, Barbara, you have won a prize and your prize will include a uh, By the Lakeside bag in one of my favorite fabrics by Heather Ross. So it's little Matryoshka dolls. I'm also including this beautiful Progress Keeper from the Gnome Knitter. It's a peppermint bark which um, was sent along to me to pass along to a winner. And um, also some little, um, I'll be including a couple of little things in both of those packages that um, I have set aside for you both. So congratulations to Barbara and Sharon. Thank you so much to everyone who entered and um, both of you ladies, if you wouldn't mind sending me your address on Ravelry, that would be fantastic and I will get you your prizes out in the mail as soon as possible. Um, let's see. I think I'm already kind of winding down. I did just want to mention a couple of my favorite things this month. Um, it's been really hectic, so I don't have um, a lot of knitting favorites or even podcast favorites. I'm really falling behind on my podcast watching. Um, but I do have two winter kind of beauty product favorites that I wanted to include. Um, and they are not really new discoveries, but um, rediscoveries that I love. So the first one I want to mention, um, I feel like it's, it's an essential in my bathroom and um, it's the La Roche-Posay Lipicar Balm. This is a lotion and it is something that I've had for years because um, one of my sons and I both have had um, bouts of psoriasis or eczema and things like that. And this was recommended to me by a dermatologist. It is um, an anti-itching, soothing balm. So it's a really, really thick cream, but it's not overly greasy. And I just find for uh, the winter when my hands are so parched and even my legs, I'm like, even if I put regular lotion on, it doesn't really last and I find like I'm kind of dry and I feel uncomfortable and even um, my oldest son Camden who has had has very similar skin to me he refuses to wear gloves and um, his hands are just like crocodile skin so I have to sit him down and force him to put this on his hands and it works within a day or two it's really really good and I just thought if anyone was experiencing really dry skin, especially when you're knitting and touching um, yarn and fabric a lot, I feel like um, we're all always looking for a really good um, hand cream. This one, it's excellent. I get it at Shoppers Drug Mart here in Canada. Um, I'm not sure where else they would sell La Roche-Posay, but it's an amazing brand. I've used some of their skincare before, but this is just like a, lar a nice large bottle with a pump um, and you can use this all over your body. It's really, really good. So I wanted to recommend that. It's one of my favorite things. The next item that I wanted to mention as a favorite thing is another skincare item. Um, it's by the company called Fresh, and I have had samples of this from Sephora or Beauty Perks with points um, that I have been managing to stretch out for a few months. And I have come to love this product so much that I'm gonna have to bite the bullet and buy the really big bottle very soon because I think I need it every day. So it's called the Seaberry Moisturizing Face Oil. 
see. It is the most amazing face oil that I have ever used and I have tried quite a few. I've tried um, all of the main ones that Sephora features, um, like the Josie Moran, the Tarte Maracuja oil. I've, um, I do have one from Clarins that I really like that's a treatment oil at night. But this one, um, even just one little drop in my regular moisturizer really hydrates my skin. And it says that it has um, omegas 3, 6, 7, and 9, which I don't know what that is, but they work. They do something different than any other face oil that I've used. I think most of the time I just feel like I'm slapping oil on my face, but for this one, um, it almost feels like a treatment oil. So I really love that. I wanted to mention it because again, this time of year, um, I feel like skin gets so dehydrated that your normal stuff doesn't always work. And I wanted to share because it is a new product that I love. I think that um, pretty much covers things I love. Um, I am super excited this week because I have decided in the planner world um, to also bite the bullet, haha, and start a bullet journal. So I've just ordered a new journal um, that should be arriving in another day or two. And my current planner has been good at work, but I feel like I'm missing something. So. I'm really excited to give bullet journaling a try. I am going to be waiting for that package to arrive and I really, really can't wait to get it started. I'm so, I get so excited when there's like a brand new notebook or planner or sketchbook or paper, just any kind of stationary stuff gets me excited. So I'm super excited about that for this week. Um, it's going to be a super, super, um, crazy, crazy schedule for me in the next couple of weeks. I've got my husband's birthday this week coming. Um, my youngest, James, his birthday is next weekend, so we're having a um, friend party and a family party, which is all great. Um, and I have to go to work, um, go to New York for work for a couple of days the following week. And then my oldest son is going on his first overnight school trip. So lots of stuff going on. Uh, we've got to sign him up for uh, high school this week. Just, it's a, there's a lot going on and it's all good and exciting stuff, but it's gonna keep me busy. Um, I am hoping to do another shop update probably after all that calms down a little bit. I have had a lot of requests for my larger project bags. Oh, and thank you so much to everyone who purchased again in my last shop update. Um, you guys are the best and I really just wanted to say thank you so much for supporting my little shop. It is more than just a hobby for me. I really, really enjoy uh, making bags and getting them out there and then seeing them. So if you do have a bag, then I would love it if you tagged me in it so I could have a look and see it um, in action with your knitting projects. And um, I just wanted to take a moment and say thank you so much for everyone that purchased in the last update. You guys. You blow me away. It's pretty awesome and I really, really appreciate all of you. So thank you for that. And I've had so many requests for the larger bags that I didn't really anticipate. So I do have um, some supplies and uh, stuff that I've put aside to make a few more of those um, because I feel like that's what people are kind of looking for right now. And uh, I will keep you posted on Instagram and probably do another podcast before I get around to another shop update. So I think that covers everything for this week. It's gonna be really busy, so probably probably will be a couple of weeks before I see you again here on YouTube. So um, I hope you're all doing well. I hope your February is fantastic and that uh, the weather is good and life is treating you well. So thank you so much for joining me and I will talk to you soon. Bye.